so we are going to start the um, virtual inauguration soon we are just waiting for some more people to join us a few minutes meanwhile i would like to show you the landscape today an amazing spring day in La Morra Okay, so we can start. Um, I'm Sara, I'm the person in charge of hospitality and marketing at Mauro Molino. Um, I'm here today uh, in order to introduce to you our virtual inauguration. Uh, we, have been, uh, we have been waiting this moment for um, many months and finally we are happy to uh, inform you that the new tasting room uh, is finally ready. So now I will show you the location made in uh, brick, bricks and uh, glass. We also have built um, a nice terrace on the top. A nice terrace from where we can see almost all the uh, villages of production of Barolo. So we have La Morra behind us, then we have Barolo on the right, Castiglione Falletto just in front of us, Serra Lunga, then the Castle of Grinzane, and of course the Liban Cedar. And this is our vineyard of Brico Luciani just below the new tasting room. The yellow flowers that you can see in the vineyard uh, is the cover crop method. So we are using this organic method uh, since a couple of years. And um, it's, an organic, it's a method coming from the organic viticulture. Uh, we are sowing some legumes and grasses in our vineyards during the winter time. Then during the springtime they are growing with an amazing result. This is very beautiful, but also very useful. They are bringing multiple benefits to our vineyard. Uh, first of all, they are increasing the soil fertility, uh, increasing the biodiversity in the vineyard and uh, manage the soil erosion. So we can just have a last look to the terrace. And then we go down since uh, Martin and Matteo would like to spend some uh, words about this uh, new project. So here we are. Martina Molino, co-owner of Mauro Molino Winery. We are here today in this beautiful spring day for this virtual inauguration. We are in front of the entrance of our new tasting room and uh, in the heart of in La Morra, in the heart of the Barolo area. So we have, be, we have dreamed about this moment for such a long time. So this building is actually being uh, started to construct in uh, uh, late 2019 and uh, we supposed to finish it in 2020 but unfortunately the pandemic arrived so everything is being delayed until now so our wish at the beginning was really to celebrate this incredible moment for our growth of the estate all together from our supporter around the world here in this new beautiful place but unfortunately, due to the COVID, we have to go to a virtual presentation. But anyway, thanks a lot for being here today with us. 
I will pass now the word to my brother Matteo that uh, he will uh, present you more about our family winery. Hello everybody, what a pleasure and satisfaction to have you here virtually today. It's uh, really a moment that we are, we are waiting for, uh, for a long time this, just, to, just to, because it's a very big satisfaction for uh, me and uh, Martina to, to, to have this uh, new tasting room. Mauro Molino is a family estate that runs since 1982. Uh, Mauro is uh, our father, the first generation. The estate was bought by, by our grandfather Giuseppe in 1953. And um, since uh, 2003 and 2008, the second generation is uh, still working at the state. Now it's a few years that uh, we have in the hand the, the, the tradition and the development of uh, this estate. It is a really, really uh, pleasant uh, and great uh, work uh, for us. So the, the idea to, to, um, to build this, uh, this tasting room is also the idea to build a tasting room in a vineyard. So that's a great satisfaction for us, a beautiful moment just because you can taste the wine just up to Brico Luciani, one of our single vineyards. So we are located in La Morra, in the heart of Barolo area, and uh, our mainly production is Barolo. Thanks, thanks a lot to, uh, to be here today with us. So now we are ready to enter all together. Matteo, are let's you try excited? It. Let's try so it. let's go and cut it. And here we go! Andiamo! Andiamo! So I know that you are very curious about the tasting room, but before I would like to show you our super nice new offices. Everything is made with glass. We have the meeting room with an amazing view. Then we have Martina and Matteo's offices and then the main office in the middle. And now here we are, finally after many, many months, many years of waiting. I show you all the location slowly. Hello everybody, thanks a lot for being here today. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic travel restriction, we are not able to host you today. But whenever it will be possible, you can check and book a complete wine tasting on our website. One of the wines you will try will be our new Dolcetto from our latest harvest 2020. Dolcetto means a lot to us because he, he represents our territory and our culture. Our parents, our grandparents used to drink, drink it like every day. That's why it's really important to us. For us, it's like it's our table wine of this area. You, you, will, uh, you will find this, this, this wine when you will come to us. And uh, the really important thing of this wine, that we like we age it just a few months in a stainless steel tank in order to preserve the, the, the freshness and the purity of this wine. Now, let's try it together. At the nose, we can find red fruits and almond notes. And in the part of the middle tannin, which is typical of this variety. We, we can't wait to have you here, and I hope we'll see you soon. Cheers. So we have the first comments from our audience. A very beautiful congratulations, bellissima complimenti. So cool from our partner from London. Thank you guys. Um, so another wine that actually you could try uh, during our tasting at Mauro Molino is our Barbera Legatera. Uh, Barbera Legatera is a uh, quite important wine for us. It's a very small production. Uh, it's a vineyard located in La Morra. A uh, very small vineyard but very old. We are producing around uh, 3,000 bottles of this wine each year. And it's really a selection of the best grapes that we are uh, taking from that vineyard and aging the wine for 18 months in barrique. So this Barbera is really a very complex and structured wine. A wine that is uh, um, 
extremely suitable for long aging, but at the same time very approachable when it's young. Sarah, we have a question for you. The Biola will be available at the wine tasting? Yes, for sure. Um, as you probably already know, Nebbiolo is one of our most important uh, project and variety. Uh, it's uh, for sure present at the wine tasting. Actually, um, this wine is becoming very important in the last years, uh, thanks to um, a new purchase that Martina and Matteo made in 2018 in a vineyard in Guarene, so in the heart of the um, Nebbiolo production, Royal production. Um, so definitely, yes, you will find uh, Nebbiolo, uh, probably 2020, that is gonna, um, it will be available from uh, May. possibility to try the wine directly from this, uh, uh, this fantastic and cozy part of the, of the room. Then of course uh, our tasting room are uh, also for uh, about knowledge, so for us uh, the, the knowledge and the history of our wines is really the most important thing. So when people come to see us uh, we want to give uh, an experience and the experience comes also with the education. That's why, of course, if you will see and visit us, we will explain you better about Barolo. Barolo is the most important wine of our area. Mm, specifically for us, uh, it's very important the Barolo coming from La Morva, the area where we are located as a winery. Today I have the honor to introduce you to our classic Barolo, 2017 vintage, which is the current release. Um, classic Barolo is for us uh, really the ambassador that is representing us all around the world uh, in volumes but even more in style because the classic Barolo is really the manifesto of Mauro Molino winery uh, for the gentle softness uh, and the delicatesse gender, generally speaking so but let's see it closer so we can uh, we can see here the map of uh, the Barolo area all the colors represent this single vineyard as a winery, we are located in La Morra. La Morra is uh, one of the higher points in the Barolo territory, and our estate is very close to here, to Brico Luciani. Um, talking about this wine specifically, is coming from the single vineyard Annunziata, which is in the lower part of La Morra, about 240 meters elevation. The second vineyard that we use is called Berry. Berry is the uh, highest part of La Morra, so it's an area that see quite a bit breezy microclimate, a little bit cooler compared to Annunziata. Phenomenal and very important for the aromaticity into this wine. And last but not least, the third vineyard is in Perno. Perno is located in the Monforte d'Alba area. So um, this vineyard gives to this wine more the grip and the concentration. But uh, let's have a taste together, which is obviously the most uh, funny, the funniest part. So especially in the 17, but uh, in uh, every vintage, the classic Barolo is very distinctive for the aroma. In fact, uh, at the moment, uh, it's very intense. It's already very gentle and approachable. We can see a lot like flower notes, ripe fruits, extremely delicate, then if we sip it, yeah of course the complexity of the Barolo jumps out, but the tanning are very refined, very delicate. So I think this is a very gastronomic wine, especially Barolo, also for the beginner into this type of uh, uh, wine. The classic Barolo is aged for 20 months in large casks. 
So let's uh, move to the Baroque single vineyard because uh, if, uh, we are talking about knowledge. Baroque single vineyard represents uh, the top uh, of the line and also the top of the whole technology in, uh, in the deepness of the Baroque. Um, we make four different single vineyards, all in La Mora Comin. This is our uh, one, one of uh, our satisfaction when making because. Uh, uh, what we really like uh, is uh, to exalt the difference between the, the different single people. Um, specifically about the, the wine that uh, we are tasting today is the Barolo Gallinotto. So Gallinotto is a single vineyard that comes from the MGA Berry in the higher side of La Mora, the southwest side. And uh, the characteristic and also the beauty for me about uh, this, uh, this vineyard is the, uh, um, the exposition, the southwest exposition, just in front to there. So the, 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 the characteristic is the wind that comes from the mountain direct to the vineyard because there's no protection from the vineyard to the hell. And uh, this freshness, especially in the night before the harvest, really get a lot of character to this vineyard because it gets the fruit, the complexity, the mint, all these uh, uh, typical characteristic of fresh, more freshness uh, side of the air. The Barolo Gallinotto, if you are, when uh, you are looking at the color, is normally a little bit darker in color than the other single vineyard, because altitude means also a little bit darker color. The Nose is always uh, very complex, uh, rich, with a lot of mint, some herbal note, some uh, red fruit also that you recognize and uh, you really uh, recognize as a characteristic of this wine every day. So we, we still have some comments from uh, our audience. Enric from Denmark is saying a great place, looking forward to visit you soon. Eric, the same. I mean, we are waiting for you soon here. I have a couple of questions, Martina and Matteo. Uh, speaking about wines, Matteo, I would like to ask you, uh, which is your favorite single vineyard? I mean, you, you told us that you have four. Um, do you have one that you prefer? Yeah, so uh, every single vineyard is like a different uh, paint, a different nuance of, uh, of, uh, of, our, of our paint. And it's, it's never easy to say which is your favorite, it depends on the vintage. But of course, if you're talking about a uh, vineyard of, the, of our heart for myself, is Conca. Uh, Conca is a very small single vineyard in Annunziata, just very close to the, to the winery. And is the reason why our grandfather Giuseppe bought the farm in 1953. It's a natural amphitheater, very beautiful, very protective. The vineyard was planted in 1971. Really get every year a very complex and rich wine with a huge age potential. And Martina, um, my question is, uh, uh, which was your emotion when you saw the first time uh, the building uh, finished? Uh, I mean, like this, uh, with uh, this, uh, all these, uh, set up inside, which was your, uh, your feeling, uh, your first feeling? I was very, very emotional because uh, for me, this is really a dream come true. So I've, uh, we, I've been personally working at the winery since uh, 12 years now. And uh, I'm very proud of what we, we have done uh, all together uh, as brother and sister, as a team. And uh, this is really a dream come true. So have the possibility to have uh, a really nice place to welcome our supporters all, all around the world, uh, to offer them a better experience than before, it was really something that was missed out and we are so pleased to, to finally have it, even in, in this difficult time. So whenever everything will be sold out, uh, I'm sure that uh, that would be great and we'll like, enjoy a great moment in here. So that's, uh, that's uh, how, how I feel, very much. Uh, perfect. So we have a question from the audience. Um, it's in Italian. So it's um, da lunedì siamo in zona gialla. Si può fare, si possono fare le degustazioni. Uh, I think that uh, the Cuneo province will be orange until uh, like uh, Wednesday, if I'm not wrong. So if you are following our um, social media. We will update you as soon as uh, we will be able to do tasting soon. 
And I have another question. Um, so we spoke about the vineyards, the tasting room. Uh, what about the barricaya? I mean, uh, is it possible to see it uh, if we are coming to visit you? Okay, so that's, uh, that's a very good question, of course. So everything is being actually built around that. So our bottaya is the art of our winery. So when we first started to build this uh, uh, establishment here, so uh, we had to thought how to connect the tasting room, the offices together with the barricaya. So definitely you can see it, but uh, I mean, it's going to be a secret until you won't come here. So it's... Uh, <laughs> It's something that you will for sure discover during your visits at Norway. Okay, great. So we would like to do a final cheers all together. Cheers everyone. Grazie mille. Salute a tutti. Cheers.